Okay, um, I had a request to uh, show off the uh, the ventilation system that I uh, constructed, um, and I wanted to see it removing smoke uh, and stuff like that. So um, I thought I would demonstrate that. Um, again, uh, the the setup is fairly simple. I mean, I've got um, the ability to put it in the window here, and I can shut the window down on top and this vinyl or uh, PVC foam stuff that I got works pretty well and um, it fits right in a recess in the corner here and to make it set all I have to do is turn these set screws and push it out a little bit and um, it'll lock it in place so it seals on on that end on that end and then the pressure from the window keeps it sealed on the bottom and the top and it actually works really well I don't get any any leaking at all uh, through this thing uh, the fan is actually on the outside of, of this um, and uh, the ventilation ducting runs from the inlet of the fan down to the outlet of the Arduino or not Arduino but the uh, uh, the laser uh, build log laser uh, and the duct duct tape seems to work fine. Um, and I, as again, I don't feel any any air movement at all. It's sealed with silicone. Um, and then what I did is I just cut this this flange. There's a flange on either side of this that um, that sticks out about that far, and I cut it down to be about a half inch thick. There's two quarter inch plies that I cut with the laser. And then uh, to give it some structural rigidity, I put a screw in here and here and one on the other side and that holds the flange right in place and uh, takes any stress from the hose uh, and puts it into the window frame and uh, also keeps this sealed uh, very very nicely and tightly. Um, uh, with this particular window um, I have to put a rag in the top and you know that may seem a little bit hokey but it really works pretty well I don't get any airflow even when the wind is blowing against the window. Um, so, uh, oh, pardon me, hold on. Need to reset the window, window shade because otherwise there's too much glare when I want to do the uh, other parts of the video here. Okay, so what I've got in here, I got a scrap piece of uh, eighth inch plywood. Um, and I've got my uh, my uh, Mach 3 set up to uh, cut the pattern that I need for a box. It's the same one that's beneath this. Um, and also, I like to show off. I've got my my uh, uh, flow rate reading um, from the uh, uh, coolant's uh, um, flow meter going through the uh, Mod, uh, Modbus Arduino uh, stuff, so uh, you'll see another video on that. So um, I figured I would do a couple things. I'd try and set this up here on the tripod so that I can show you the cut um, as it's being made, and I'm taking it from this angle so that I really try and reduce that glare. And hopefully there's enough, let's see if I can zoom this in, enough resolution and light that you'll be able to see the smoke as it uh, is pulled away. Um, I think that's about as good as I'm going to do here. Okay, so I'm going to start the, uh, the cut file here. Uh, everything else should be ready. So you can see there that it, uh, it really is pulling that smoke back. Um, it could have more velocity in there, but it doesn't really need it. Um, uh, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Um, I have to say, one thing that I really like about the, the Heeks CAD, or the Heeks CNC system, is that uh, uh, lead in and lead out feature. It really leaves a pretty clean edge um, for the laser, and I don't have to worry about starting the laser in on the part. Um, So the flow, the flow pattern um, in this laser for the, the, the gas isn't exactly ideal. Um, the stuff on the bottom, it seems to circulate 
back up towards the front and then go out around the back. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if that's uh, uh, a result of the uh, the flow rate that I have or where the vents are placed in the outlet or something like that. But um, uh, you can see that once it gets up into that stream that's in the front, it really jets back towards the back um, and uh, goes out the, the front. So um, I did want to show uh, uh, something here. I was going to try and light a match. I wanted to show you the inlet velocity uh, of the smoke coming in. So uh, here's, uh, here's a match. I hope I'm getting this in the frame here. Okay, so I'll let that go so it generates a little bit of smoke. And you can see the flame is actually getting pulled towards that. But now if I shake that out, it <laughs> didn't last very long. Let me try another one. Okay, you can really see that the smoke is, is going directly in there, even several inches away from there. And uh, I have to say that when this thing is cutting, I don't smell a thing um, in the room until I open the door and take the piece out. And that's because the piece actually stinks, um, not any of the vapors. So it is being effective um, at uh, capturing the vapors um, and getting them outside and out of the room. Uh, uh, my calculations, uh, according to um, the, uh, the health standards, would say that this is actually twice as much air volume as I need um, to deal with carcinogenic and very toxic materials. So um, I think that this is pretty adequate. Uh, and as you can see, it's, it's very quiet. Um, actually, the loudest part of this system is that uh, is the uh, um, the air pump, um, and you can see. If, I don't know if you can hear it. It'll go uh, quite quite a bit louder when I lift the hood um, to take it out. But uh, uh, you know, it should work out okay. Oh, well, the other bad thing about this stuff, the plywood, the laser doesn't like to cut through any knots uh, that might be in in the uh, plywood. Uh, in the inner layers, and I'm uh, not exactly sure what to do about that yet, but uh, if anybody's got any suggestions, uh, I'd appreciate it. I guess uh, that's it, and uh, I'll post this soon. Thanks.